Sometimes it seems like your printer has a mind of its own, and in this case, it really does. A cybersecurity researcher is alerting people that attackers can pose as your printer, going into stealth mode, stealing your things, and moving on to bigger attacks that can take you down. Here's how it works and what you can do to stop it. Attackers have used printers as messengers, pushing out ransom notes like this attack in January at the Royal Mail Postal and Delivery Service in the UK. Pay up or we reveal all the sensitive info we've stolen and scrambled. Last year, it was this ransom note spewing from printers on a government network in the US. These attacks are flashy, made to be seen. But a researcher is warning that attackers can instead go undercover, pretending to be your printer and carrying out crimes under our noses. Just think of a printer with a mouth with a lot of sharp teeth in it. That's, that's the visual that I think of. Cybersecurity manager Gabriel Agbarucci hacks printers for research to show you how to protect your own. He says the attacker in printer's clothing could first steal info from what you've printed before. That could be bank info, taxes, or medical documents at home, also crucial company data at work. There's print jobs within printers, right? A lot of times they're cached or stored on to the printer. So if you gain a certain level of access on the printers, you can see past print jobs that might have critical and sensitive information about that organization. Then they could map out the network to see what else to steal, especially good for business and industrial networks. Plus, they could use a special tactic to uncover passwords for other people's accounts, especially those people with the best access to critical things. After that, it can be big attacks like ransomware, holding files hostage for money, shutting down systems in companies, hospitals, and schools. So it can get kind of hairy pretty fast. Best of all for the attacker, the paper pushing disguise covers their tracks because no one suspects the lowly printer. What happens many times is that people are not monitoring the activities of printers. Right? Printers are low level assets. They're not really doing anything. Luckily, there are things you can do to help stop them, Gabriel says. Number one, change the default password on the printer, the one that came with it when you got it, or attackers can walk right in at home or at work. Changing that will allow most organizations to not be compromised in the ways that I'm talking about, because most printers have default credentials on them. Why? We often just don't think about it. The focus on these printers is not about the security of it, but rather it is about the operations. Can people print? Can people scan? Can people do what people do with, with printers? He suggests monitoring printers more in a work situation limiting access at work so not just anyone from anywhere can print, making passwords stronger overall so evil printers can't launch larger attacks as easily. Also, he says, clear past print jobs at work and at home so they don't give away your sensitive stuff to a fake printer with sharp, nasty teeth. So how do you change the default password on your printer? Different brands do it different ways, so your best bet is to do a search. How do I change the default password on my fill-in-the-blank brand printer? And follow those steps. In Cabo, Mexico, I'm Carrie Tomlinson for Ampere News.